Hey there, I'm Lizard Man 10. This is my buddy Raptor. Say hi. Yep. So, what what was that about that you should subscribe and like the video and join the Discord server down in the description? You didn't say that. Okay. Well, well, I'm just I'm just she I'm just thinking things that aren't true. Yeah. I'm gonna put you there, buddy. So, we uh, did another D&D session, which is fun, as always. But I feel like the players nearing the end and actually throughout the entire thing kind of didn't like it all too much. I'll explain. Roll the clip. So on today's episode of D&D Stories, we start off right where we left off with the with the three party members Arlem, Ba, and Frumpus hanging out at the place of um the mage's death brass but thing is is that um the main the rest of the party joins in Z couldn't show up again because she's still grounded but, basically, we, we uh, had some fun. We, uh, Gabo showed them the way to a new character's place that, actually, Jormingdur told them to go to. And the new character, they, when they walk into this really old-looking shack, they walk in, they, they, see, they hear the tinking of metal just like, tch, tch, tch. They, see, they see a small halfling hanging out behind the desk, like this, and his name is Zen. Zen is is about like what is it, fifty years old and halfling, but looks like he's in his twenties because halflings and all. So no, you, you can go up there. Then. You go there. So basically, um, Zen. Shows the party, like, their rooms, talks to with them for a while, and actually uh, makes makes a little tin can. Just gives Foy a tin can so then Foy can use this gem that she bought f for, like, a hundred gold pieces. Slam it in there. <laughs> now has a metal owl. And also carries two velociraptors on her shoulders, as well as owl on her head. The metal owl. There's that. Then there's also all of the stuff with the characters. They go into their rooms. Each one is designed for them. And they all go to sleep. They then wake up. Zen is not in the main room anymore. Ar Arlem is sleeping outside. And when he wakes up, <laughs> there's, there's the crested dragon. Raptor. This one. This one. You, my friend. So this is Reptar says oh, fuck. Reptar says that hey uh you guys need to come over to my place as soon as possible. You wanna know why? Something is go going wrong here. Reptar, please stop. Mm -hmm. Taking a poop. Grind the desk. Thanks. Anyways, Raptor then allows them all to get onto his back and grabs onto, onto the monkey, funny monkey, and they fly over to the dome. They see Lizzie just <laughs> barrel over onto the side of the dome, getting knocked out or maybe even dead. I don't know. And they land down. They see three mages on horseback, each holding an, a, an egg of the crested dragons. You have you must remember this from the second session. Ha <laughs> ha go watch that video to understand what I'm even saying. Oh there he, he's back. So now 
uh, Reptar then goes on, fights the ma fights mages behind the party, defending them, and the party goes off, fights these three mages, and I learned about a homebrewed spell. It's so good. It's called Dirty, it's like Dirty Dan's, um, I forget what it's called. It, here, here's what it's called right here. Actually, it's called this. This is what it's called. Basically, you say this, they failed the saving throw, and then they, you call them Pinhead. And they take a crap ton of damage because of it. Which is, which is cool. <laughs> and one of them gets knocked down to three hit points because of that. I learn about the new bird. And Monkey gets hit by a fire spell. Bud just slices somebody's arm off. Frumpus actually is starting to use more spells. Which I like. Because in the, in the first two sessions where he was actually playing. No spells at all. Just Swigging down whiskey. Anyways, the part the party takes down these mages. Two of them drop the eggs and they die. One last mage, the guy who got called Dirty Dan, drops it lightly onto the ground as he dies, and Frumpus grabs onto the egg, and the dr and Raptor says. To the party. They then use the teleportation device. I rolled. I flipped the coin. Oh no, it's a tails. So that means that they don't go to the location they chose. They get teleported into the middle of the big city, and then they see to their right wanted posters of everybody's face except for Arlem on the wall. Yeah, there's that. And also. In the distance, they see another uh, character. This one is about... They see a cowboy-looking guy. They don't know what his name is, but he is a bounty hunter, ready to take down the main party. The main party then ju jumps into the sewers through a, through a sewer grate, and then they... After that, they just, you know, go down there, start traveling, and one way is quiet, which was actually completely safe. It was not completely safe, but basically it was just been waist-deep water instead of a fucking river, and that's the one they went down. And Bounty Hunter's still chasing them on the way. And the Bounty Hunter is pretty cool, in my opinion, because he just... Bullets... Um, packing gunpowder with his with his two blunderbuss. You and then they jump down into the sewers. They get they then after about an hour of time, they get to the end of this gigantic river, and now they're on a raft. They've got. They've got Monkey, they've got all the characters hanging off of it, except for Arlen, who is flying in the air. There's that. And now we've got the ending of it. They see light, sort of, sort of light, dim light near the end of the tunnel, and a little fish pops up next to Ba. <laughs> Ba just like kind of grabs it. It's a, it, guess what it is? It's a Sahugan. Sahugan runs away. They see three more pop out of the water with a marrow. Um, basically, demonic. Just, just really pissed off creatures. So there's that. Then they have the... Then they fight them for a bit, realize that it's a bit hard. So they escape with, the, with Fog Cloud as... As um, Foy drinks down a potion and then gains aquatic adaptations of gills and webbed fingers onto her hands and, and neck. 
and they escape. Then they realize that they are back at where they started in the first session at Costa Rica. Yeah, that was a long tunnel. Probably magical. It was magical tunnel. It was a magical place. So they see they then see a coffin that's made of complete metal and they hear <laughs> from the inside of it. And then they are thinking, hmm, what do we do with this? How do we get this open? They can't get it open. But there's a handprint on it. Um, Lutheran puts her his handprint to it and <laughs> teleports inside of it. The man who was inside teleports outside and he just says, I've been in there for who knows how long. And he immediately turns to dust. I love that. I thought that that was really cool, but then they started arguing about w how they get everybody out, and Ar Arlen kind of started to split up, split the idea of why they're even doing this. Frumpus then put his hand onto it, got teleported in there, and you are complete, you are like complete, as healthy as you can be in there. But once you get out, all the effects happen to you. So, he starts chugging down uh, ale from his magical... Uh, ale thing. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> so they're now they're just trying to figure out what to do. They go to Costa Rica. They go, our lemon bug go off and get get some drinks. And uh, that's where I left off the session. I don't think that they liked it. I I feel really bad because I don't think that they the party liked playing that time, but I'll figure something out, out for them. They also saw a bounty for a guy who looks similar to one of the people that Arlem knows. So there's also that, but other than that, and that was the end of the session. Sub subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, we're getting close, we're on the road to 400. Let's do it. Let's get the 400 before the nuclear miss, miss, before the, let's get the 400 before, you know, Feb, before the nuclear treaty is over. So then at least I can say I got 400 subscribers before we all die because of nukes. Also, like the, like the video and... Yeah, come join my Discord. Yeah, you can if you're interested in playing Dungeons and Dragons. I host one shots every now and then. You gotta be active on it if you want to find out about it. But come to the Discord server. Link is down in the description. All right. Uh, I'll see you later. Uh, bye. What are you gonna say to what are you say gonna say to the camera? Oh, okay, yeah. All right, see you later.